Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way. West Ham United 2, Manchester United 0. Disgraceful performance. And guys, before I continue, I just want to say this, Claire. First of all, Merry Christmas, as usual. We're, um, yeah, and the second of all is, I just want to say this is on Eric Ten Hag. This lose is on Eric Ten Hag because tactical-wise, you can understand that uh, Manchester United, the biggest problem we have with Manchester United is the midfield. If you do agree with me, fine. But if you don't, tell me what you saw as a fan. Because personally, I think the biggest problem is the midfield. Why? You go, we played against Liverpool. If we played against Liverpool with this lineup, we would have had, we would have taken at least three or four or five goals. Yes, we know Varane was ill. Yes, we know there are certain players who could not play. But why should you play McTominay and um why should you play McTominay and Bruno Fernandes? Why should you play with like a 2-8? There is a problem in our midfield. McTominay isn't a bad player, but you need to choose one. It's just like back then in the English midfield. Remember the the, the debate between um, Limpard and uh, and Steven Gerrard? McTominay, I'm not trying to overrate McTominay here, but I'm just saying McTominay is very offensive. Bruno doesn't play like a 10. In every football team, you must have a one number 10, a one creative player that, that the, the, the team plays from him. But McTominay has just come in and scored two or three or four goals, but he has five goals generally in a game. And now Eric Tengnas, all hopes is from him. I want to say this. If you have been watching my videos here, you know I have been backing Eric Tengnas and I still back him. But I think he is slowly getting to the sack. Because I, he will sack, he, he is about to sack himself. Because one of his weaknesses is that I think he doesn't understand the Premier League. He's a Dutch manager. He, he, he didn't watch a lot of games in the Premier League. They, they, you cannot use the same system in every game when you haven't built your team. So I just think that uh, today, the problem, the problem in that game today, I mean, even you watching the game, you could draw a simple lineup. We know our players. The reason why we talk as fans is because we watch every Manchester United game. Then you have a new tactician, a manager who comes and come to, and their players there. They, we have a lot of fraudulent players who, who would like play well on training, and uh, yeah, and and blind, blind, blindfold them, the the potential manager, and he will be using the players and will be losing games. This is Christmas now. We are now on the table. Manchester United is on the eighth, eighth on the table. If we won today, we would have been a better position. Next game we're playing against Aston Villa on Boxing Day, but I am not really sure about that game. I just think. We are we are on for uh, for a very long long season. United, I was thinking that United could struggle to get that could get that top four. But with what I'm seeing today, with the headiness of Ten Hag, he is in a way he's like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The way he he believes in what he wants to do. I mean, I, I don't want to say sack Eric Ten Hag honestly because I think he's a very good manager. But what I want to say is, I think Ten Hag would just sack himself. He's in a very strong position because you know we have you have we do we need to have a we are having a new owner yeah the twenty five percent from Sergio Merkley but how do you kick up a, a manager without drawing a plan but uh, my there are many signs that are showing slowly that Ten Hag might not be the manager for Manchester United at least by the end of the end of the season he might end the season if he's not in a good position in Europe I think he will be sacked because they will have to analyze the way a Ten Hag talk I'm speaking a lot about Ten Hag not thinking about the young um, Congolese French Congolese player who played today I think um, Eric Ten Hag has just shown his limit you cannot play with like this we go to a game that, and Manchester United are not playing with and there is no motivation and also um, we have uh, this, this, the biggest problem we have here also is we have to play for the striker Manchester United, we don't create situations. We don't create combinations to play for the strikers. And well, yes, you can say uh, Ganacho missed a, a sitter. You can say uh, Holland missed a goal also in the first half, a chance, which would have been a goal. Uh, Ganacho missed basically two, two of them. But 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 again, the, the way United play is quite is very boring. You uh, uh, and very discouraging. I can tell you guys for clearly that I clear that United the most we can do this season, and and it will not depend on us. It will depend on the opponents as well. If they lose games, which they will, it, it could be the maybe the fifth or maybe the sixth. We are not qualifying for Champions League if it's top four. Honestly, it will be very difficult for us to qualify because the players are not motivated. The players are not playing as a, as a team. These players are more about their contract, full stop. They don't want to make history. They won't be part of history. I am telling you guys, as I talked about the European Football League. Football is changing. It will be less about winning title, but more about making getting contracts. You know, back in the days when we were kids, 
watching football, my generation, we always love the fact that, that, I mean, you will want to end your career by winning something. But today is all when you have that contract, you, I mean, happy days. You don't have right to put any fun. Well, guys, we're going uh, straight to our uh, player ratings here. I think it is very difficult for me to give the man of the match. I thought it was Kobe Menu who was, I mean, he, Kobe Menu was quite uh, good in the game, uh, a part of the error that he he did, and that caused the second goal. I th I thought Luke Shaw also had a very good game. Um, I I, I my biggest surprise was the whole was the defender the the, the defender that was brought from our youth team, and uh, big up for Ten Hag to do so because that was a quite, that was quite an encouraging uh, move from the manager, honestly. Uh, I, I would have wanted to start, but it, I bet it was a risk and it didn't work because uh, we lost the game. It would have, if we won the game, the guy played, it would have been a, a, a positive for Ten Hag, the courage. But I think uh, he personally understood that this player, um, Kambwala, Kambwala, yes, he's from Congo, Kambwala, that um, he is not fit to, he's not ready yet to play for the first team. But yes, let's go straight with our players. I think Onana, the first goal, Onana, I think he would have he would have done better. I mean, Onana has an average five. We lost two nil, an average five. An average, I won't give him below that. Two goals, yes. The second goal, not his fault, but the first goal, he would have done better. I think he did his distribution better, better today. I, uh, I think Onana deserved at least a five, an average game. In front of him, Evans, the goal they scored, the second goal, Evans, I, I don't understand what's going on with the European football. We were brought up as kids when when the attacker is shooting, you go for the ball. You don't stand and you put your hands behind. You go and close the block, close the ball, close the, the action. But in the modern game, you you just stand, you just hope that the ball hits on you. So uh, they scored in between his legs. You cannot blame the goalkeeper for that one. Evans, uh, Evans, I give Johnny Evans an average five. Uh, the young kid who came in, Kwambala, uh, I, I think I'll give him a six. I won't put too much more pressure. A player who never knew he was going to make a debut this season. Aaron Basaka, very average also. He did well in his offensive, but you know, Aaron Basaka, you can't really do a lot of uh, movements going forward. Uh, I mean, our next game with Aston Villa, we will have to win that game. I was thinking we were going to take three points in this game and Aston Villa at home, maybe we struggle to, to get a draw and that would be a good one. But, uh, it's quite uh, discouraging. Uh, Luke Shaw, one of the man of the match in my view. Um, uh, Luke Shaw is six. Uh, you have a player like uh, Mwenu, Kobe Mwenu, an average, I would say Mwenu, average six. I won't blame him for that mistake. As a young player, you always get mistakes. A six, uh, McTominay, McTominay a four. The thing, the reason why I'm giving McTominay a four is because he is not a team player. He, he plays... He's like everywhere. The, you know, Bruno is an play, energetic player. McTominay playing brings Bruno to play more as a defensive midfielder instead of a 10 that we all know that made Bruno what he is as a player. So this is the problem. And it's Eric Ten Hag that has to fix it. He's the manager. He doesn't have to play for these players. He has to take, he has to choose one player. Ten Hag has to choose Bruno or McTominay. I said, you know, my preview, and this is what I think many experts also, um, I mean, for Manchester United for people, right? Not the mainstream media people are paid to say this well they have seen so i uh, uh bruno a five mctominy a four i mean it's very easy um anthony was also one of the better players a six and um i think uh ganacho wasn't good in this game honestly when you're playing as attacker for two when you have two occasions you need to try to get one inside and uh, ganacho is slowly becoming a a, a a first team player he is a first team player he, is, he has to take his chances. This is not the first time. He needs to work on his finishing. I think Ganacho wasn't that good today. Ganacho, I give Ganacho a five. Uh, and Rasmus Holland, again, playing as a nine for Manchester United, it is a nightmare. It's like you're walking in the graveyard. I mean, it is a night, nightmare because you, you play as a nine, you don't have service, you play a t or you're playing for a team that has no system, a team that tends, doesn't, that the 10, which is a creative player, they're just jumping from left and right. They cannot even, uh, United, we can't make uh, three passes, to make three combination passes in order to see our attacker. And then tactical wise, it is so inept. And I think that um, I won't put all the honors on this on this player, um, Hodgland. So I think Hodgland will have an average five. He didn't have a good game, but those who came into the game, uh, came in at the last minutes, you have um, focus on um, Pelistri, Average six, these guys in influence the game. We were already down two goals to zero. 
And um, yeah, Regulon as well, average six, uh, Rashford. Rashford. I mean, Manchester United, what we have taken for the season 2023, I mean, for the year 2023 and this season, the first half of the season, is that Manchester United, we don't have a playing style. We don't have a midfield. Stenak has to sort this very fast or he won't end the season. So now tell me what you think. Who do you think you know, Tenag would have started the midfield with? I said on my Facebook group, guys, go to the Facebook group, uh, drop your comments, uh, get involved with our Facebook group. The link is below. I asked uh, that should McTominay or uh, Menu start? And everybody said um, uh, Menu should start because they understand. Because if fans, we can see, why can the manager not see it? So, uh, guys, tell me what you think about that. And for the manager, Rick Tenag, I give him a three. I'm going to do my analysis video tomorrow. Um, five things we learned in that big in uh, the game today. But for now, guys, Merry Christmas. Take it easy. Hold your heart. I mean, the new year is coming close. Let's we will make it together as humans. But as Manchester United fans, we are very depressed. Anyway, guys, great speaking to you. And yeah, hopefully, uh, the next game against Aston Villa, we will show a, we will bring up a, a different team, with, which is more motivated than one we saw today. Talk to you soon, guys. Ciao, ciao.